Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I will be introducing the Imaging Edge software from Sony. This software includes three apps, three main apps. The, the remote, which you control the camera, the viewer, which you view all the raw files, and the editor, which you edit the raw files. So after you download and install the app, on your Mac or your PC. You go to the app here and open it, and you will find this three apps as we said. To start the remote, you just press start, and this pop-up will, will appear. And as you see here, I'm, I'm connecting my, my A7R4 and my 7.3 here. So all users that have the A7R Mark IV and the A9 Mark II can connect to the app wirelessly, control your camera wirelessly. You don't need any wire or anything. The rest of the Sony family, you can connect to the app using wire. Now I'm going through this connection, teaching you how to connect wire and wirelessly through the app. Now I will show you how to connect the camera wirelessly to the remote app. First, you need to go to the menu. When you open the menu, you go to the network tab. In the first page, you go to the PC remote function and you turn it on, it will be off. You turn it on and go here and the message will be Wi-Fi direct. After that, you need to set up more settings. You go to the second page and in the Wi-Fi direct info, you will find the password that you will need later on to connect to the camera. Copy this password. Then you need to set up this setting. If you want to save, your capture pictures to the PC only, you select PC only. When you want to save the picture in both the camera and the PC, you select the PC and camera. If you want to capture only in the, the memory card and the camera, you select the camera only. I select the PC and camera to have this kind of backup. On the third page, you can save the original or only two megapixel from your camera. Originally, you, you will save the 61 megapixel from the A7R Mark IV, but for the e easy and fast use uh, over wireless connection, I will use a two megapixel. Then I will go to my PC and continue the setup. On the PC, or your Mac, open the wireless connection and connect to the camera. And if it's asked for your password, enter the password from the camera info. And while it's connecting, go to the Imaging Edge software and start the remote app. In the pop-up, you will see your the, uh, the name of the camera. Just double click on it to start the app. And now we are connected through Wi-Fi. Now I will show you how to connect your camera to the remote app using USB. I'm using USB-C and you need your camera. All you need is go to the menu once you open your menu, you go to the network tab and on the first page, you scroll down to the PC remote function, turn it on if it's not on and select the message to be USB and that's it. This is all you need to connect your camera through USB. After you're done with your setup in the camera, all you need is connecting 
the camera with the USB. After we connected our A7R Mark IV to the USB, it will appear in the pop-up here. Just double click to open the remote app. When you open the remote application, you will find a big live feed from your camera. Over the top here, you can find uh, the rotation tool that you can rotate your live feed as you desire. And the overlay uh, function, and you have the guides, and you have your uh, grids. When you go back to the overlay, overlay, uh, it's a function uh, that you can pre uh, preview a picture over your live feed. This can help you uh, in many ways. Uh, see the display where you, uh, your watermark or your logo will be uh, in the picture or the logo of the client. Um, the other option is to use it as a, a stop motion. You can take a picture and you, you see where you want and wh where you're going. And uh, the third option is displaying uh, a kind of a design uh, over your uh, final layout, the final picture, so you, it can guide you uh, how you need to set up your uh, uh, area. By clicking here, you, you enable this kind of overlay from your client, uh, give you a, a guideline where the final logo and the text uh, will be. Uh, from this point, you can move your setup uh, accordingly uh, to free and fit the design uh, very well. Uh, so you can see how your design will actually show in the final result. You can keep fixing things until it fits the final uh, design and the final look. After you're fixing everything, you can click again. So this layover will stay to guide you every picture you take. So you can have a, a clear vision of what your actual picture will be. For, for the guides, uh, if you wanna uh, put the guides on and uh, specifically uh, put the guides here and you want to match where the, the knife will be every time in the same shot so you can move the knife toward the guide and make this like a, a remark for you uh, how you will place the knife every time you want to uh, please uh, I think uh, by clicking on it again it will lock the location of the guide you cannot move it anymore by double by clicking again uh, actually enable when you see the orange arrow you can actually move it uh, slide by slide or line by line like I'm what I'm doing here so I can uh, fix where's the, the guidelines or where's my lines that actually uh, I want to place my plates in it. So it's a, a very uh, quick and a nice way to actually guide you. Uh, by clicking here, uh, it's actually uh, enable the grid so you can compose your thirds you can see the composition well. From this drop down menu, you can actually choose the, the pattern that you want and the actual color and the thickness of uh, the guide. By clicking it, and again, it will actually disappear. These two last options affect the live feed 
and the first one actually uh, turn on and off the reflection of their settings on your uh, final image when it's uh, it's white uh, it is reflecting your camera settings when it's orange it's actually disabling this function uh, allowing you to see uh, the camera even if the settings is uh, totally dark and you're using the flash to light the scene you can actually see what's in your live feed regarding your settings uh, of the camera I will leave it uh, to reflect my settings this last uh, button will actually turn off your live feed completely and you can turn it on again from using this one now let us explore the right side tab here the first tab is the shooting tab where you can find the auto exposure lock and the flash lock and the white balance lock and this uh, buttons are the AF acts as a half shutter press and this is the actual shutter of your camera for the photos and it saves the, the pictures on the PC and the camera and this one is the recording for the video uh, but this uh, when you press it it actually record on the camera only and the uh, last one here is the interval shooting when you press the interval shooting it actually uh, open a menu when you can select the settings for the interval the first settings is like when you actually want to start the the shooting so you can start immediately or delay the shooting and the interval uh, between each shot and here how many capture do you want to uh, have in the interval and just by pressing start it will actually shoot with this settings uh, next you will find the mood uh, and the mood here is the actually mood of the shoot shooting uh, mood so the normal one is the, the, the one we actually went through uh, in a second and the second one is the pixel shifting multi shot where the camera takes several pictures and combine them in, into one row and you when, see, when you see here when I selected the, the pixel shifting multi shot the actual, cam, uh, the actual shooting menu changed uh, the AF button that, that you actually select the focus and start the focusing is there and this one will actually take the 16 picture uh, and in the right here you can find the two menus the two drop down menus uh, the first one has the you select how many pictures in the multi shot and the second menu here is for the for the delay so when you select one second it actually has a delay between the first shot and the second shot and the third shot uh, one second delay this allow you to have uh, your flash to recycle um, and uh, the last mode is the interval shooting on the camera so when you select this it actually uh, uses the settings on your camera and shoot the interval as you set up set it in before on the camera next here is the main settings uh, menu so here you can view uh, which mode you're actually using on your camera is it manual or program or aperture priority or shutter priority uh, from here you can change the shutter and the aperture ISO and the flash compensation is very useful uh, to change your uh, settings that's easy and the sub settings you can actually change the settings uh, the other settings on the camera like uh, the shooting uh, file format and here you can change the aspect ratio shooting drive white balance everything in your camera you can change in the in the app and this is really nice uh, moving uh, to the focus uh, the focus tab is really useful when you do 
stacking because it allow you to switch your camera to a manual focus and control your focusing manually from the app so these uh, buttons will allow you to uh, change the focus and uh, micro adjust the, your focus and when you enable the manual focus it actually enable the magnification here as you see so when you select uh, a point of focus you can actually zoom in and focus exactly or precisely on uh, your subject We move next here to view our uh, live feed uh, histogram. You can see your histogram. Uh, you can see the, the brightness or you can see the RGB histogram. And the last menu here is where you actually save your capture pictures. You can select the destination, uh, rename it and for uh, if you select here it's actually will reflect the live view orientation to your final uh, picture and uh, last one op last option you can actually click here and actually move uh, the tabs and rearrange them as you desire and by now we have covered most of the functions inside the remote app in Imaging Edge software from Sony. I hope you found this video useful. I will see you again in the next webinar.